Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I would go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto, my, unto, unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. So tonight is, I guess I'm telling my story, so why do I start there? Well, if anybody knew my dad, that was his favorite passage. And I, for tonight, I'm calling it Daddy's Lullaby because he quoted that verse to me every night before I went to bed. So he would be very disappointed. In fact, I stumbled over some of the words tonight. <laughs> I mean, we, he, he, you can ask my kids, he, um, we, he could, he, he, you couldn't beat him in a race quoting this verse. I mean, Dad, Dad could say it, and it didn't sound like English. And so, so that's, you know, that's every night, John 4, and I just read the first six verses. He would read the whole chapter. I mean, every night. Some nights I would pretend to go to sleep, so he would go on, and I could, I could play with my G.I. Joe. I guess, but that's where my story starts with my dad. I was very blessed to have a Christian, devout Christian father, and he was a World War II Navy vet, fought in the Battle of um, Guadalcanal, and his ship, the Gregory, sunk, and he had another sink, too. Dad was 43 when I was born, which was kind of interesting as a kid. We'd go to family gatherings, and he'd be chasing me down, hollering, and somebody would say to me, well, you need to mind your grandpa. I said, hey, my grandpa, <laughs> that's my dad. You know, I couldn't, you know, to me he was dad, so, you know, but, you know, he was a, as a devout Christian and a good Bible reader, and so, you know, my mom taught me everything. She was a great Bible teacher, and I learned, learned a lot from both of them. So the dad came back from the World War II and met, and met my mom, he was 28 and she was 17. <laughs> so my grandpa, my grandpa Nance, he, um, he was raised in the Church of Christ, but he was, he, he, my mom was not raised, he didn't raise his children in the Church of Christ, but first thing when mom brought dad home, he's too old, he had to be married. And mom said, well, no, he hadn't been married. When, dad, when grandpa found out he was a member of the Church of Christ, grandpa saw he's a good guy. So <laughs> that's where that's where they were. You know, my, from, as far as my grandparents go, you know, my grand my grandpa Nance died when I was three months old. He was the only grandpa that the rest of, I didn't even know the rest of my grandparents. And I, you know, I always grew up thinking, well, I poor me, I didn't have any grandparents, but I know now I had. I think I had more grandparents than anybody I knew. My dad was the youngest of, of 10 children, and his older, grand siblings, his older ones were like eight, 18 and 20 years older than him. His twin sister has a granddaughter older than me. So they, my aunts and uncles, were we were very close, and they were just like grandparents to me. So I had, I don't know, plus all the grandparents I had at church, within the church family. So, you know, I always felt sorry for myself that the only time I got to see my grandparents was on Memorial Day, and we'd go, go see their headstones. But, you know, I, I was truly blessed with more grandparents than any, anybody could, could number. My, um, my only brother, he is 13 years older than me, so my mom always said she raised two only children. And we were, and as I said, we were blessed to be raised in the church. And you know, I think I thank God that I had godly parents. I know many people aren't blessed, aren't as blessed as I was to have the parents I had and the opportunities that I have. You know, like you know, like all of us, you know, I've. We, we've strived to live the Christian life, but we're not always successful in our, on our road and on our um, trip. You know, growing, growing up, you know, my parents were into the Bible, so, you know, I, I, I knew my Bible. I was, 
a decent study of the Bible. You know, what am I, I always, I always wanted to be a preacher. And yeah, I went to OC three years, but, you know, God had other plans for my life. And looking back, as you look back and think about it, his plans are a lot better than anything that I could have dreamed. You know, he, he wanted me to serve, but not in the ways that I wanted to serve. He, you know, what, what I pictured and what he pictured, he made me for a, he made me for a um, just like he made every one of us, he made us for, for certain purposes, and he, wanted, and he wants us to do what he has planned for us. And who in here can say that their life turned out exactly how they had planned when they were younger? I don't see any hands. Yeah, so, but, but did they turn out? Did it turn out better than you had planned? I, you know, I, I can say I know my, you know, what I wanted, and you know, I have always served within the church, and as God had wanted me to, and I've had many opportunities and been truly blessed. You know, God, one of the things that I wanted growing up was a wonderful Christian wife, and God gave me that. And together, you know, her mission and my mission, you know, we, you know, we've been, we have been of one mind in our work, in our service, and in our work. And then we, and we, he blessed us with a wonderful Christian family. You know, I'm thinking, as I'm thinking about talking about, you know, what my plans are, what God's plans are, I'm thinking of Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. You know, God's plans are always good. Can you imagine, do you think Jeremiah planned his life to be the way it ended up? You know, this is why God is reassuring Jeremiah, you know, I have plans for you, but you know, his plans are always good. And, you know, as I stated earlier, his plans are always much better than what we can dream. You know, we're living in a very rough and harsh time, we think. You know, we could probably go through other periods of time and think, well, this is easy compared to that. You know, every, everybody faces their trials. You know, I face my trials, and, you know, everybody in here has faced their trials. But, you know, we if we can trust in God, you know, I, I'm... Thankful that, you know, I, I still live in the same neighborhood I grew up in. Didn't 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 stray too far, and you still know most of the people I've always known, and I'm thankful for that. And I, you know, I grew up in the church and have always strived to do the right thing. But you know, we we don't always do that, do we? Sometimes you say, well, God has plans. Well, sometimes we, do, sometimes we still try to um, step away and do something different other than what God has planned. And God, uh, but God, I can be thankful in my life because God's always brought me back. And he will, you know, he will always bring, the struggles will continue. And he will always bring us back. If we can um, let him lead the way. You know, I have... You know, I've preached, I've taught, taught classes, and one of the, this is one of the more difficult things is trying to talk about yourself. I mean, I'm not one that likes to talk about myself as much, so. <laughs> you know, I was, Mary and I were talking, and I was thinking, you know, you think about it in movies, you see a lot of true stories, and every one of them say, based on a true story. You know, they, they, you know they, they've got to take the true story and make it interesting for the movies. We were talking... You know the um, the hills the hills are alive with the sound of music. The the musical von Trapps and if you re, if you look in your history, the musical von Trapps and the real von Trapps, you wouldn't recognize them as being the same people, other than they were both called von Trapps. Hi, you know Hollywood took that and glamorized that, and the Maria von Trapp of the movies and the Maria von Trapp of real life were not were not not even close to being the same woman. So, but God. You know, we, you know I, we tell our story because, you know, the way I see it, my story is God's story. You know, every one of us, God has a purpose for us, and he wants us to tell our story because that makes us real. 
You know, we don't, you know, we're, we don't want to tell it. The world, the world sees us as being real, and the world sees us as, you know, we can tell we're not, we're not be, pretending to be something we're not when we're real. I mean, we see a whole lot of world that people are pretending to be something we're not, they're not, we know they're not real. I say that my story and my struggle is for his glory. And I know that I am truly blessed now. And I know that, you know, whatever lays ahead, you know, we, you know this has been a very, very depressing year for, for, for me, for I'm sure for all of us. And it's easy to get down, but, you know, we just need to get on our knees and pray and thank God for what we've got. And thank God for what we've got here in this room tonight. You know, this has carried, this is, you know, y'all have carried me through. Many times and through this period, we can, we can, we can, whatever God lays ahead, we can continue carrying it through. But I want to, in Matthew 19, 26, it says, And looking at them, Jesus said to them, With people, this is impossible. With God, but with God, all things are possible. If we can just remember that no matter what we've been through, you know, we look back and see what God's taken me through. You can look back and see what God's taken you through, and we know it's possible. You know, don't say no. You know, God, we're going to be shown different the minute, the minute we say no. So, but we know with God that all things possible, and if we just live our lives in that way and just put our complete faith and trust in him, you know, we're not going to fail. 